Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and a few builds ago we added some new functionality to the inertial navigation or the INS system of the Viper uh, in regards to the alignment, and it's caused a bit of confusion, so I thought I'd go ahead and make a little video to better explain it. So let's go ahead and uh, start her up. And I'm just using my flow, it may not be 100% correct these days, but it eh, works for me. Okay, waiting for 20%. And off to idle. And if you don't have your INS uh, set up correctly, uh, not only will you not get uh, correct navigation uh, data, uh, but also even HUD alignment and velocity vector and such will be incorrect. So it's very important to have your INS aligned correctly uh, before you taxi out. Okay, drain renders have taken over. Get power going. And we'll set the uh, INS align to normal. And we do that, we have the INS up on the DED. Now note, we have the uh, lat and long, uh, longitude. And right now the latitude is selected, indicated by the uh, bars on the other side. And we're, what we're gonna do now is we're going to uh, confirm these for the INS, that those are indeed the coordinates that we are at right now. So for the lat, we'll go ahead and hit enter. And we'll dob her down and we'll go enter again. Now it's really important that you do this within the first two minutes that you start the alignment. Uh, if you do it uh, too long after two minutes, you'll get a uh, degraded alignment and it work, won't work out so well for you. Okay, so we got the alignment going. Uh, we're at 76. Let's go ahead and finish my process. And again, it's just how I personally like to set up my jet. And you know, here on the HUD, you can tell you're uh, not aligned, uh, particularly when you have your uh, stir point diamond here in the middle, and there's no tadpole out there. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, time accelerate through this. Uh, 50. Forty. You can also do this with a stored alignment, but again, you'll need to make sure that you have your lat and long confirmed. 30. Twenty. Ten. And we have a fra uh, flashing uh, ready. We also have flashing a line. I'm going to wait for a full alignment at six. Okay, there we go. So now I'll go back to my I switch and set that to nav. And now you'll see that my stir point marker is um, actually off the field of view, indicating the direction. Also, we have our tadpole. So our alignment looks correct at this point.
So again, this is how you uh, set up your alignment now on a cold start in the F-16. I hope you found this useful, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.